Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soph. I'm Gaynor. And we're going to do one that was recommended. I've never even heard of this character. No, Dr. Hartman. Dr. Hartman? No. Never seen him no. in any clips no. um, or even heard of him from Family Guy, but no. someone recommended him. Yeah, so, um, me yeah, let's give him a go. I assume he's a doctor. Yeah. I hope so. But um, <laughs> who knows what he'll be like? We, we might, when we see, <laughs> we might say, oh, yeah, I've seen him in you know, a few, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, I think Herbert was the, the most yeah. like, outrageous one we've seen, yeah. so. Maybe, hopefully it won't be as bad as that, but yeah. who knows. <laughs> Relax, I'm a doctor. Ha 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 Is my boy ready to compete? Um, I don't quite know how to tell you this, Mr. Swanson. You're paralyzed from the waist down. I know. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, God, I was standing out there for like 10 minutes. I... <laughs> Woo, boy, is that a load off. We did all we can, but medical science has come just so far. Ah! <laughs> and now I will take off this protective potato head mask. Is Peter healthy? My goodness, you'll be dead within a month. What? what? Oh, Hagar the Horrible, if you keep up that lifestyle of pillaging and giant turkey legs, you'll be dead within a month. Now, on to you. So, what do you think? You're pretty healthy, eh? Well, Mr. Griffin, let's take a look at your physical results. Ah! <gasps> there's a spider in here! Goodbye, Pearl. <laughs> hey! Who wants to see a dead body? Here we go. Jeez. Mr. Griffin, you're going to expire in a month. <gasps> this is your driver's license, isn't it? Now, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to die. <gasps> When you watch these Dean Martin celebrity roasts... Will you just tell us how Peter's health is? Uh, Mr. Griffin, I'm not quite sure how to say this. Kim Bassinger? Ba Basinger? Ba Basinger? Basinger? Sir, I think you should know these growths on your forearms. They're giant tumors. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. And the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. That you've managed to be walking around all this time is nothing short of a miracle. I'd say about two months. But now, on to the cancer. Ah! Oh, my God. You are a cancer, right? You were born in July? <laughs> now, on to these death oh my results. God. My, they're much worse than I thought. Ah! My son got a D- minus on his history test. <laughs> now, Mr. Griffin, that liver's got to come out. What? It's been in the microwave for three minutes. It'll get dry. Now. Please. Please. We can't take any more shtick. Please just tell us, is Peter healthy? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just really fat. The lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not <laughs> coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? <laughs> Your brother Glenn is lucky to be alive. You know, we're all lucky to be alive on such a beautiful day. In fact, nurse, all surgeries are outside today. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hold on, the wheelchair is coming first. And here's the baby. Congratulations, Mrs. Swanson. It's a beautiful baby girl. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God, she's dying. What? Oh, sorry, I was watching this Paula Poundstone comedy special. There we are, all finished. Oh, look at this. Look what happened. <laughs> well, by the laws of comedy, you and I have to be roommates now. That's hilarious, Doc. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to prescribe a course of antibiotics and some painkillers and... Hey, Elmer. Hey. She sucks. This one time, I was so drunk, I gave someone a back adjustment. I'm not a chiropractor. You gotta go to a weekend of school for that. I think I can hear the ocean. Smell it, too. Your test results came back negative. It appears the lump in your breast is not black gross boob death. Breast cancer? That's the layman's term, yes. How long has your husband smelled like this? Oh, no, that's just from riding here in a hot car. But, Dr. Hartman, what about his hearing? Hearing? This is a hospital. I'm not a lawyer. Oh, for God's sake, is my husband deaf? Well, there's only one way to find out definitively. Hey, stupid deaf guy! Well, I've gotten the results back. He's deaf. <laughs> you think it's gonna stay, Dr. Hartman? No, it's gonna be Dr. Ramirez now. I'm taking my husband's name. I'm talking about Peter's hair. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wedding on the brain. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. 
We've discussed this. No to the mole. Chocolate is for cake, not chicken. Oh, come on. He's crying. I now <laughs> declare this hair transplant officially over. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, he's back. You look great, Quagmire. Oh, my God. One of my patients on two has been shot. I'm afraid your coma's in a daughter. I mean, I mean, I mean your daughter's in a coma. What? Oh my God! Did you did you hear what I said? Uh, brain freeze! <laughs> oh my God! Oh that. I feel like this is why I could never be like a doctor or anything because I've just seen stuff like Jeez, that. Like... <laughs> he is actually really funny. I'm surprised we've not come across him. I know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like he's actually um yeah. One is going in the Christmas letter. I love you, Lois. I love you too, Peter. Mm. Is it cool if I tell your insurance that I gave you heart surgery? Meg, you remember Dr. Hartman? <laughs> of course he does. I performed her very first pelvic exam. Unless I'm confusing you with someone else. Nope, that was... that was you. Please tell me, is my husband gonna be all right? Uh, Cancun, actually. Thanks for asking. Just got back. <laughs> hey, do you know where I could find any books about, um, the pancreas? Peter, if I only helped people I liked, everyone in this hospital would be dead. Just do what I do. Help them out, then angry, footloose dance out your frustrations. Dr. Hartman, please report to cardiology. Dr. Hartman? I gotta go. And to think I actually thought you raped me. Well, I was going to, but you ran out of the room. What? Ah! I'm sorry, Mayor McCheese, but I'm not sure if any cosmetic surgery is even possible. Look, if it's a financial issue... Well, it's not an issue of money. Your head is a cheeseburger. There's no blood flow to it. It's just, it's just dead cow meat. All right, well, I appreciate you giving it to me straight. All right, then. Have a tasty afternoon. <laughs> ah, there's a smile. Hey, did that big Boomba Boomba nurse come in here? Uh, no. But Dr. Hartman, is my brother gonna be okay? That's her. That's her. Hi, Juanita. Hello, doctor. Was that weird? Was I just weird? Kind of. You don't know. I was fine. I was able to remove his tumor. And if anyone wants to keep it, it's here in this Tupperware. This, this is half of a chicken cutlet. Oh, boy. What did I have for lunch? <laughs> I have to undergo dialysis treatments three times a week. Dialysis? Is there any other way? Yes, there is. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll do the dialysis. The Brown family. Oh, oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I write descriptions of my patients to help me remember them. No, it's okay. Our last name is Brown. Oh, okay. Phew. Ah, then this must be Chubster Dum Dum. <laughs> be cool. Be quiet. Be quiet. You know, Peter says we sound alike. Really? I don't hear it. Actually, I think I do hear it now. Really? Yeah, you know, we've never really had any extended interaction, so I've never noticed it. Hey, I think I hear it too. Seems lazy, doesn't it? Well, there's only so many voices in the world. Some of them are bound to be similar. He switched around all the bones on the skeleton in my office. I don't know what's what anymore. Let's take a look at that wrist injury. That's my foot, not my hand. Words! <laughs> Time of death, Bob. 808. I know numbers. Meg has type 2 diabetes. The one where you're supposed to shame her, not feel sorry for her. But I need to draw a little more blood for the lab. As I suspected, sap. Vermont gold. I love sugaring season. Oh, thank you so much for coming in early, Dr. Hartman. Oh, no problem. Hell, I used to work here. What? Dr. <laughs> give it to us straight. What's going on with our friend? Well, Mr. Griffin, there's no easy way to put this. So I'm just gonna come right out and say it. He's black. Not that friend, Quagmire. <laughs> oh, him. <laughs> hey, what about these? Ah, good choice. These are the only ones we have in stock that aren't hilarious. Mrs. Griffin, I'm going to write Stewie a prescription for ADHD medication. Really? Well, I don't know. Doesn't that stuff make you wired? Well, if you're low energy and lethargic, yes. But if you're high energy, it actually calms you down and helps you focus. At least that's what I'm reading on WebMD. <laughs> wow, there are a lot of different kinds of medicines. There's a cat in here. Oh, good heavens, that's something, isn't it? Oh, by the way, Mr. Griffin, regarding your x-rays, we're making a coffee table book. Can you sign this release, please? Okay, but first, can we address my husband's situation? Well, the harmonica's up there pretty good. Unfortunately, removing it would require a very expensive surgery that's not covered by your TGI Friday's gift card. <laughs> yeah. Can I go home? Well, you're not really ready, but if it's for revenge, you can stab me with this scalpel and then run out. Thanks. 
Oh, that was unnecessary, but cool. So awesome. How long do I have to live? One week. While I give the rest of your diagnosis, I'm going to gradually talk quieter, as if I'm growing distant, to show how overwhelmed you are by this news. And I... You should have seen your face. That's so uh, not funny. Now I gotta empty my pants. What's that? Acorns. 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 That's what I said. We sound too much alike. I know. What happened? You were in a coma, and then I kissed you, and you woke up. Like two days later. Anyway, all your numbers are normal. What numbers? No idea. Well, congratulations. You're gonna be just fine. You're in good hands. You see that diploma? Yale Medical School. Wow, that's impressive. Thank you. I work very hard on my calligraphy. That's right. <laughs> the procedure would kill you. Aha, that car's getting towed. <laughs> wow, that patient next door is fat! I can hear you! Uh, th that wasn't me, that was Mrs. Griffin. Now, before we begin, I want you to know the record is just past my watch. Well, it takes two people to break a record. You look a little young. How old are you? Uh, 13? 14? 15? But, but he didn't force himself on me. I wanted it too! Well, that's the important thing. Well, that's odd. Your vagina seems to have a penis and two testicles. Oh, right. I, uh sneezed real hard and all that came out. Ah, that explains it. Could you do that thing where you take some fluid and tell me if it's going to be an imbecile or a cretin? Oh, not to worry. There are places where those people can be warehoused. This area is known as a hallway. Don't worry, you'll pick up on all the technical doctor jargon pretty soon. Hey, is it prescription or prescription? I think it's prescription. Prescription. Uh, that, just, that just feels weird in my mouth. Prescription is better. Oh, and there's the ER. Don't go in there unless you want everyone to yell at you. Well, if it isn't Mr. Nielsen himself. Nurse, who's the worst doctor in this hospital? You are, Dr. Hartman. Good. Put Hartman on this bozo. Hey, what can I do for you? Please, Doc, you gotta help me with this nasty gash. What seems to be the problem? No, it's my husband. Oh, well, you've got a lot of nerve coming in here after what you did to television. Now, get out! Please, Doctor, you've gotta help him. You took an oath when you went to medical school. I took a lot of things when I went to medical school. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to answer this. Hello? Ah, Hartman! Just relax, Mr. Swanson, and let the anesthetic do its job. All right, Doc, I trust you. Good. Now I'll just pop in the how-to video and we'll get started. What? <laughs> oh, Dr. Hartman, thank you for coming. Well, actually, I'm Dr. Hartman's son. Dr. Hartman's son? But I asked for Dr. Hartman. His jokes are getting worse, Doctor. Is there anything you can do for him? Now all we can do is wait. I've never had a pelvic exam. All right, I'm going in. If I tug on the rope twice, that means pull me out. God, who are the pigs who just throw their empty beer cans down here? <laughs> Get up, you jerk! <laughs> no, that's the good sound. Oh, well, why don't you just do everything? I hate this stupid hospital. Well, chances are Peter never would have survived the surgery. I mean, I mean, dog kidneys? I'm not even sure dogs have kidneys. What? Do dogs have kidneys? Yes. Ah, this... this is the guy. And how are you today, Mr. Patient? My last name is Saunders. That's an interesting pronunciation. <laughs> Little tip, Meg. The inside of this folder has a diagram of the human body. Kind of a cheat sheet. Dr. Hartman, is Peter gonna be okay? Ugh, if one more person asks me about a patient today, I'm gonna scream. How many times has Peter been in hospital? I know! <laughs> Every scene is in hospital. I don't think the mum's been in one so no, I know. <laughs> Lab work shows he is suffering from. Meg, the inside of this folder has a diagram of the human body. Kind of a cheat sheet. Dr. Hartman, is Peter gonna be okay? Uh, if one more person asks me about a patient today, I'm gonna scream. His lab work shows he is suffering from Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh my god, are you saying Scotty has cancer? I don't know, I didn't read the whole Wikipedia entry, but the good news is that what he has is highly treatable. <coughs> oh, for God's sake. Look, do you have any idea how expensive medical school is? No, I don't. Well, it's probably pretty expensive. I'm walking home! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Swanson, hospital rules, you have to leave in a wheelchair. <sighs> Elmer? What, Mom? You promised I could get a cookie if I finished all my surgery. Did you? Yeah. All of it? Um... Get back there! I'm gonna do it! What does it matter when I do it? Now see, right now I'm listening for cancer. Do you mean his heartbeat? 
Maybe. Here, you take a turn. <laughs> wow, your heartbeat sounds a little fast. Do you smoke? Actually, I do. Ah, me too. Isn't it great? <laughs> well, that's bad for you. You shouldn't do it. It raises your heart rate and can lead to emphysema or cancer. That's impressive, Meg. It's no big deal. It's just stuff I learned in health class. Well, you're clearly a bright young lady. And you've got quite a... head on your... shoulders. Oh! All right, I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves and we'll deliver this baby. Well, these don't feel like gloves at all. They feel like used needles. But this is where I always keep the gloves. Well, maybe if I dig deeper. Nope, just feels like more needles. Well, that's the craziest thing. Oh, now I'm sure this isn't the glove drawer. Am I completely paralyzed? I'm afraid of ghosts. And yes. <laughs> okay, Dad, you got us in. Now just go. You're gonna have to take things from here, I guess. What? Well, you now know about as much as I do about this whole doctor thing. And don't forget the cheat sheet if you need a helping hand. Heads up, sometimes my knob plays peekaboo through my pee hatch. So I hear you guys need some benzos. Yeah, we gotta dry this dog up. <gasps> hang on, hang on, hang on. This is my favorite part of the song. Tequila! Oh, I'm thinking of a different song. <laughs> I'm afraid she's dead. You can tell by her shallow breathing and weak but clear heartbeat. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I took the liberty of x-raying my own hip to show you what a normal one looks like. Why does it look like there's a Batmobile in your colon? Just keep your eyes on the hips. So what's the next step? I was hoping whenever the bat signal goes up in the sky, this thing will just drive out. Oh, Peter, I think it's a wonderful idea. Why haven't you sent for help? Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. That's not your point. Grateful, huh? Hey, what do you guys do after the screen goes black? By today's standards, it's always sad when you learn an animal no longer exists in the wild. By today. Oh dear. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm taking from that that he's not a real doctor. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how he got his job at the hospital. No. Clearly, he didn't go to um, medical school. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> that was surprisingly really funny. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know whether no. it was like you know. I wasn't expecting. I don't think I was expecting much. <laughs> no. Yeah. But then I guess after her, but you just think. Yeah. I, I don't know what better. to even yeah. think. <laughs> I still think Quagmire's the favourite. He's your favourite, yeah. yeah. I'd say out of all of them that we've seen up to now, Quagmire is still my favourite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he is funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching along, everyone. We hope you've um, enjoyed it. And if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.